Close Approach of the Moon and Mars The Moon and Mars will make a close approach, passing within 2 degrees and 24 minutes of each other. The Moon will be 27 days old. The pair will be visible in the dawn sky, rising at 4.56 a.m., 2 hours and 13 minutes before the Sun, and reaching an altitude of 20 degrees above the southeastern horizon, before fading from view as dawn breaks around 6.53 a.m. The Moon will be at Mag minus 10.3, and Mars will be at Mag 1.4. Both objects will lie in the constellation Sagittarius. Please let us know what you think of our videos, also if you have not subscribed to our channel, Secrets of Space, please subscribe so that you get notified about our videos in future. Comet Leonard, at perihelion, Comet, Leonard, will make its closest approach to the Sun, at a distance of 0.62 astronomical units. At the moment of perihelion it will not be observable. It will reach its highest point in the sky during daytime and will be no higher than 9 degrees above the horizon at dusk. Comets are intrinsically highly unpredictable objects, since their brightness depends on the scattering of sunlight, from dust particles in the comet's coma and tail. This dust is continually, streaming away from the comet's nucleus, and its density at any particular time, is governed by the rate of sublimation of, the ice in the comet's nucleus, as it is heated by the sun's rays. It also depends on the amount of dust, that is mixed in with that ice, this is very difficult to predict in advance, and can be highly variable even. The Moon at Perihelion The Moon's monthly orbit around the Earth will carry it to its closest point to the Sun, its perihelion at a distance of 0.9809 astronomical units from the Sun. This happens at around the time, when the Moon's orbit carries it between the Sun and the Earth, at around the same time that it passes New Moon. At the moment of the Moon's perihelion, the Earth will lie at a distance of 0.9833 astronomical units from the Sun, and the Moon will lie at a distance of 0.9809 astronomical units from the Sun. This distance between the Earth and Moon will be 0.0024 astronomical units, 358,000 kilometers. Quadranted Meteor Shower 2022. The Quadranted Meteor Shower will be active from 12 December to 12th of January, producing its peak rate of meteors around 3rd of January. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing quadranted meteors, whenever the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Bootes, is above the horizon, with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point, is in the sky. The shower will not be visible, before around 009 each night, when its radiant point rises above your eastern horizon. It will then remain active until dawn breaks around 647. Conjunction of the Moon and Saturn the Moon and Saturn will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 degrees and 11 minutes to the south of Saturn. The Moon will be 2 days old. The pair will become visible around 1756 p.m., 21 degrees above your southwestern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon, setting 2 hours and 9 minutes after the Sun at 1949. The Moon will be at Mag minus 9.7, and Saturn at Mag 0.6, both in the constellation Capricornus. Conjunction of the Moon and Jupiter The Moon and Jupiter will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 4 degrees and 27 minutes to the south of Jupiter. The Moon will be 4 days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an repulse. The pair will become visible around 1757 pm, 36 degrees above your southwestern horizon, as dusk fades to darkness. They will then sink towards the horizon setting 3 hours and 30 minutes after the Sun at 2111. Mercury at Greatest Elongation East Mercury will reach its greatest separation, from the Sun in its December 2021 January 2022 evening apparition. It will be shining brightly at Mag minus 0.6. This apparition will not be one of the most prominent and tricky to observe, reaching a peak altitude of 16 degrees above the horizon at sunset on January 11, 2022. Mercury will fade rapidly towards the end of the apparition, as it heads towards inferior conjunction, when it will pass between the Earth and Sun. At inferior conjunction, the planet turns its unilluminated side towards the Earth, and so appears as a thin, barely illuminated crescent. Pluto at Solar Conjunction Pluto will pass close to the Sun and the sky, as its orbit carries it around the far side, of the solar system from the Earth. At closest approach, Pluto will appear at a separation of only 1 degree and 44 minutes from the Sun, 
making it totally unobservable for several weeks, while it is lost in the Sun's glare. At around the same time, Pluto will also be at its most distant from the Earth, receding to a distance of 35.43 astronomical units, since the two planets, will lie on opposite sides of the solar system. Full Moon The first full moon of year 2022. The moon will reach full phase. At this time of the month, it is visible for much of the night, rising at around dusk and setting at around dawn. The Wolf Moon The sequence of full moons that fall through the year, are sometimes assigned names such as the Wolf Moon, according to the months and seasons in which they fall. Gamma Ursi Minor and Meteor Shower 2022 The Gamma Ursi Minor and Meteor Shower will be active from 15 January to 25th of January, producing its peak rate of meteors around 19th of January. Over this period, there will be a chance of seeing Gamma Ursi Minor and Meteors whenever the shower's radiant point, in the constellation Ursa Minor, is above the horizon with the number of visible meteors increasing the higher the radiant point is in the sky. Close Approach of the Moon and Mars The Moon and Mars will make a close approach, passing within 2 degrees and 24 minutes of each other. The Moon will be 27 days old. The pair will be visible in the dawn sky, rising at 4.56 am, 2 hours and 13 minutes before the Sun, and reaching an altitude of 20 degrees above the southeastern horizon before fading from view as dawn breaks around 6.53 a.m. The Moon will be at Mag minus 10.3, and Mars will be at Mag 1.4. Both objects will lie in the constellation Sagittarius. The Moon at Perigee. The Moon will reach the closest point along its orbit to the Earth and will appear slightly larger than at other times. The Moon's distance from the Earth varies because its orbit is not perfectly circular, it is slightly oval-shaped, tracing out a path called an ellipse. As the Moon traverses this elliptical path around the Earth each month, its distance varies by 14%, between 356,500 km at perigee, closest approach to the Earth, and 406,700 km at apogee, furthest from the Earth. Conjunction of the Moon and Mercury the Moon and Mercury will share the same right ascension, with the Moon passing 7 degrees and 34 minutes to the south of Mercury. The Moon will be 29 days old. The pair will be difficult to observe as they will appear no higher than 9 degrees above the horizon. The Moon will be at Mag minus 8.7, and Mercury at Mag 1.5, both in the constellation Sagittarius. Please let us know in comments below from where you are going to watch, the astronomical events of January 2022. Thank you for watching.